Hi, I'm Zero Two Webmaster founder Dr. Carrie Krieger. I recently received a ballot in the mail to vote in the 2022 elections, state of Nevada, and it had 75 politicians listed on there. I visited all their websites, or I tried my best to find them, and I am creating this video to teach you ways to make better political campaign websites based on what I found reviewing 75 politicians' websites. Let's get straight into this. What I'm gonna do, I open up DuckDuckGo. You can open up Google too, but DuckDuckGo is a bit more privacy-focused search engine, so that's what I'm using. As a voter, I don't have a lot of time, especially when there's 75 candidates. I've gotta find their site, so to do that, I'm gonna type in the name of the state, the position they're running for in their name, and I want their website to show up. All right, so that's step one, and then what will I find when I'm on their websites, and what will it make me think about them? Because I don't know any of these people, generally speaking, in advance, there's 75 politicians. Let's go, let's just go straight through them in the order they're listed. We're gonna start here, Nevada United States Senate, Catherine Cortez Masto. Her site comes right up, in the search results it's very clear that this is her website it looks good here i don't i don't need to see that it's home so whoever does her seo should change that you don't need to know that it's home you need to know that it's her all right but all this looks good okay now let's just click through see what we find when we get there all right her name is up here it all looks clean it all looks modern there's no picture of her i'd like to see a picture of each candidate above the fold. Let's see how far down we have to go to find it. All right, now there's like miniature photos of her in her Twitter feed, but there's still nothing of her. I don't need to see people's backs as they're walking up a sand dune. There's no picture of her. So I'll dock her some points there or her web developer. At least it's clear there's an about Catherine. There's nothing that says issues or priorities. I'd like to see that. Hey, this one's good. I don't know if I saw this anywhere else in Espanol. That's pretty cool. All right, so helping you, I'm assuming there's priorities there. One other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use Built With. All right, this is a free extension. It works on Chrome, maybe some other browsers. All right, the website says we're forbidden to do a lookup on it. I've never seen that in my whole life. So we're not allowed to use Built With there. That's interesting, it's blocking it. What Built With does is tell us what kind of technologies are used to build this site. And so we'll explore that a bit more when we can see it. Okay, so her site, at least it looks modern, um, but I'd like to see what is in here helping you. That may just be the past. How can I help you? Well, that's kind of cool. You know what? This is her official government website. This is not a re-election website. So let's go back out of here and see if there is anything else. All right, here it is. Catherine Cortez Masto for Senate. All right, so this is better. Okay, there's her face up there and it looks modern. It's well laid out why I'm running on the issues. That's what I wanna see. She even has a lot of these up here. Okay, climate change or something fairly environmental. I'm an environmentalist. And that's about all you're gonna get in this day and age, climate change. You're not gonna see you know, deforestation or anything like that. But at least I can go here to any of these and find out her stance. As I said, I've got a lot of these politicians to look at. I've got about one to two minutes max for each person that I can dedicate. And that's probably more than anyone else is gonna, or most people are gonna dedicate to. So I need to get there fast and find out um, what's going on. All right, there's pictures of her. Let's just, let's meet Catherine. All right, good shots. They look professional. She's smiling. She looks like a nice person. There's some family background. Okay, so not critical, but most of these politicians, the good sites do have something about their background. And her with the community. Okay, now what about donations? Endorsements, most pages tend to have endorsements they don't really mean that much to me okay um, but they seem to be popular get involved all right so I there's a donate now okay it's up in the top right let's see what's going on here i don't know why there's a countdown like is she going to stop me from donating if i'm a minute in choose my amount donate once 
make it monthly. All right, so she's using Act Blue. All right, I see this a lot for, I believe, Democrats. It's a donation system, and it all looks fairly professional. Okay, let's move on. So her site, you know, pretty decent. Next up for Senate, Adam Paul Laxalt. All right, there's his page. Again, it says home. I don't need it to say home. No one needs to know that it's home. Okay, but at least it shows up and it's right at the top. All right, apologies for the potentially slow internet. Otherwise, it's his page that's slow. Yeah, he's got this big video of his face and him turning. I didn't need to see that. Okay, you're with your family. You got a family. Okay, there's Red Rock Canyon. I like that. But even so, it's still, it's kind of darkened out here. Okay, it's a little bit weird. And now there's a pop-up showing up. I don't really need a pop-up. Okay, I don't know anything about you. I'm not going to donate. Continue to cite. I shouldn't even have to click it. All right, so I'm not too into that video at the top. I can join the team. I don't know what that means, join the team. How about how about sign up for the newsletter because that's what I'm really doing. All right, check out our announcement video. Probably don't need to do that. I would just have the video going. All right, so let's see. There's a donation area. Join us on social media. That's all clear. So it looks fairly modern. Hopefully it would be since he's running for U.S. Senate. And let's see, about. So there's issues. Let's just make sure that stuff shows up here. Economy, immigration, crime, Second Amendment. All right, so there it is. NRA, he's been lauded for his work on the NRA. I won't go into that. This is a non-political video. We're just focused on the issues. So, okay, there's donate button. All right, pretty good website there too. Barry Lindemann. All right, so look, I typed in the state, the position, and his name, and do I get a site that's clearly, like these are all third-party websites. These are not by him. So who knows what's on there? I don't see anything. He doesn't have a website. He's not gonna get my vote. He's an automatic loser of my vote because he was not smart enough to build a website or to hire a developer who knew any enough about SEO to get his website to show up here, which it easily should show up here if he has one. So automatic fail right there. Barry Rubinson, same thing. It should show up if he's got a site, but we're getting, you know, Zoom, learn about his net worth, Stage Vote USA, Nevada Appeal, Washington Times, there's nothing. How are you going to beat the main contenders without a website? You're not. All right, so... What I notice is that the independents have a high chance of not having websites. The Democrats, Republicans almost always have a website and the independents, independent runners, or we'll say non-Democrat Republicans, high chance they don't have a website and that's probably why they usually don't get elected or we'll say it's one reason or we'll, we'll say it does not help their cause. All right, so Two of the five had excellent websites, and three of them had no websites at all. Continuing on to Congress District 1, we've got Ken Kavanaugh. All right, Congress, elect Ken Kavanaugh for Freedom, Las Vegas. Okay, his show's up here, and it's a little ugly right in here. Look how not clean this is. He could control that in the SEO description area. The SEO title looks pretty good. We see Congress. We see his name. It's got a call to action. Las Vegas maybe doesn't need to be there, uh, but that's fine. Good enough. So let's go ahead and open that up. Let's just do a comparison of the search results. Look how clean this one is. Again, the word home does not need to be there, but Robertson for Congress is very clear why I chose to run. Even this looks clean. Okay, it's not optimized. Like it's it runs on and on until it gets cut off, but at least it's kind of like, you know, it looks like real sentences. This all looks good right here, okay? I mean, this looks very professional. I like that. Uh, same thing, Dina or Dina Titus. Looks pretty good. This right here is definitely not optimized. You can see that this just is here by chance. No one took the time to determine what should show up here as they are able to do using a plugin like Rank Math SEO if they're on WordPress. Now, something I forgot to do the last round of politicians was to check out what 
what uh, website technologies they're using. Let's let's go. Ken Cavanaugh. All right, is this Ken here? I'm not sure who that is. If that's him, it's not a good picture. A, a bl all black sites a little bit weird. These things are really small up here. So this is definitely not. You know, I can already tell it's not a very good website. He's running Learn More. I shouldn't really have to click Learn More. It should be right here. I'm on the home page. Teach me. All right, now here's a couple random web posts. This guy is clearly a different person than was in the photo. Upcoming events, April 14th. All right, I'm not even going to continue because this is such a bad website other than to see what's going on here on Built With. All right, it's a Wix website. Wix, Webly, Wix Weebly, Squarespace, and I'll add to it WordPress.com which is not what I usually refer to as WordPress. It's a, another paid system like Wix, Weebly, Squarespace. You just pay them a small fee and it's easy to use. And you can't do that much with them, but you can get a website up fast. And they should have had templates that look better than this. So this guy just did not put much time into it. He's not going to get my vote. He didn't even put any time into his website. At least he has one. That's better than some of the politicians I see. But here we go. Robert... Robertson for Congress, family, freedom, prosperity. Okay, very red, white, and blue. Very, uh, what will I say, uh, straight out of the military. I'm not sure what to think about this, but at least it looks professional. Here comes a pop-up that I don't need. It's a, a YouTube video. All right, straight, he's going straight to the disaster talk, which is going to turn me off. I don't need to hear anyone with their extreme views. But maybe that's just me. You know, some people will vote for the people with extreme views. So I heard two seconds of his video and I'm already labeling him as somewhat extreme based on that. So careful what your first video is. At least this is looking clean. Positions is right there. And there's him talking. Okay, that's cool. Stay updated. You can sign up for a newsletter. And it seems to have plenty about him. It looks like some blog posts there. Donate, get involved, social media. So more or less, I like the website. Let's see what's on the positions page. All right, a little, not sure I'd be wording stuff like this. Inflation, strong communities, like that doesn't mean I don't know if that's a position. You want strong communities? Who doesn't? All right. Defend our constitutional rights. Okay. All right. Well, good enough. I mean, it essentially has what's going on. You can probably learn if you like the guy or not from that. Let's see what's going on on the donation page. Donation page looks pretty professional. Except PayPal, except credit cards. And... Anadot. I believe Anadot is a company that provides donation pages and systems for probably mostly political campaigns because I saw their name a lot doing this. Let's check out the Built With and see what he's building this site on. There's the Anadot right there. PayPal checkout. All right, I don't see anything popping up here like any famous web design so maybe it's custom Ruby on Rails maybe it's custom built site fairly good site let's move on congresswoman Dina Titus all right there's some people so you're gonna turn off anyone who doesn't like uh, the reality of COVID I'll say by that picture why not have a picture of you up there I want to see who you are this is a lot going on up at the top it's you know stripes there's four different rows of things going on you know what? This again is not an election website. That looks like she's a current politician, and that's her official political website. So this one right here, you at? No, that's same thing. Look at this, dinatitus.com home. Look how bad this is. This is not at all optimized. Home doesn't need to be there. I don't know why they all have that there. It's because they didn't think any better, and they didn't look at the results that show up on the search engines, which they can control. And then it doesn't say what she's running for. This is not optimized at all. It's so small, most people are going to miss it. Let's see if there's anything there about her campaign. Maybe she thinks that if she's already elected, she doesn't need a good campaign website, which I'll say is wrong. Here comes a big pop-up. 
never back down. I'm not going to donate to you right away. Okay, people who know you enough to donate can go find the donate link, or can they? Yeah, there it is up there. It's huge. It's in a weird position, but I guess that works right there. Let's go ahead and check out what she's using, Wix. All right, a Wix. Now, I'm a bit biased. I like WordPress, okay? And if people use Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, I usually just think that they're not too concerned about their site. It's a short-term thing. They don't plan to do much with it. But Elisa looks good. She chose a good looking template. There's a picture of her smiling, a bunch of people, looks official, looks good. Sign up. And not too much else there. I'd like a bit more there. Like, what's going on here? I don't know what she stands for. I can request a yard sign, but I can't tell who she is or what she is about. Let's see if it's on the about page. All right, she's dedicated her profession. This is where she's worked. She's an advocate, but I don't know. She's traveled around the globe. She's living under a mushroom cloud. I don't know what that means. All right, maybe that's about bombs. Okay, but a little. You know, I want to know what her issues are, and it's not listed on the site, so that's a problem for me. Let's check out her donation page. All right, Act Blue again. It's got a picture of her, so we know it's her page. There's her logo, and, you know, good enough. Next up in my review of 75 political campaign websites is Governor of Nevada and who's running. Let's start out with Ed Bridges. His site comes straight up. All right, so looks like this right here is not optimized as SEO description, but at least this right here, the SEO title looks good. Let's click through to his website. Let's just keep on checking out these people's um, search results. All right, Brandon Davis for Governor. And that's what it says right there, Brandon Davis for Nevada Governor official website. That That's probably the best one I've seen so far as far as SEO titles go. I'd still like this to be a bit better. What, what does it mean to be better? Okay. Well, it just drags on until it gets cut off here. So I can tell they probably didn't put much thought into it. You're given about 160 characters. Yeah, this actually looks like... Hey, maybe, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I just learned something. Google seems to give you 160 characters. We could check this out on Google and see what it looks like too. Let's go ahead and do that. Because DuckDuckGo does appear to give you more. All right, so this right here does look good. And it cuts off perfectly right there. And okay, so that's interesting in that it shows up potentially different on DuckDuckGo. All right, so I'll look into that. Whatever the case may be, at least he did show up. Let's click through. All right, let's keep on. Yeah, let's click through. That can load in the background while we look at the other people. Oh, this one looks good. Okay, all right, look at this. All right, I can't remember the name of these snippets that make it show up like this, but this is um, very well done. And Joe Lombardo for governor. Let's go ahead and click through. All right, so again, his SEO title's good. SEO description's kind of a run-on, just of seemingly random stuff. All right, Steve Sisolak. That looks like his current website, so that's not his campaign website. There it is, Steve Sisolak for governor of Nevada. So at least when they're running for governor, they all have websites. That's better than what we saw before. All right, let's check these out. Ed Bridges. Now, look at the difference here. Steve Sisolak. This looks modern. There's his face right there. Ed Bridges, this looks like a terrible website. There's all this, whenever there's all this unnecessary space on the outside, that to me is old school. That's like 2007 or so. These are really poorly made. I mean, that menu is just weird looking. All caps here, not good at all. All right, there's no picture of him. There's a picture of an eagle. See if we have any picture of him now. Nah, there's hard, at least he has social media up here. Let's, I mean, wh look where it's going to twitter.com slash Wix. All right, so that's an automatic fail. All of these are incorrect at the bottom. He clearly does not care about winning this race. Let's just get rid of him. And we already know he's using Wix, so he didn't even care enough to create what I would consider a high quality website. All right, you're out of there. Brandon Davis. Now, I almost remember this guy maybe because of how different he is. So that's, 
I don't like this picture up here with the words on top of it. This, at least he's got a logo. It's got a donate button. Issues are there. I can see, you know, it's all there. This all looks good, good enough, other than this is kind of weird right here. Let's keep on moving. All right, there's a personal statement from him. That's cool. That's why I remember him, because he looks different than everyone else. But good shot. Um, good smile. And here's some more issues. Easy to find. And he says right here, I'm not your typical candidate. Okay, that's cool. All right, outdoors photo that I like. Donation looks good. There's some actual correct social media accounts down there and let's just uh, scroll back up check out and yeah, let's just go ahead and check out one of these issues all right so he's got enough up there that I can tell he put some time into it let's see what happens on the donate page it opens up to another another page secure dot all right it looks good I, I prefer donation pages that are within the organization's website. So I'd rather be donating on election electbrandondavis.com rather than on secure.anadot.com with all this huge string of nothingness out here. All right, let's see what he had built that with. All right, WP Rocket WordPress. So he's on WordPress. Good. Good job. I'll give him some points for that. All right, overall I'll say a good site. Just fix up that that um you know this image right here that's not your best photo you had much better photos than that brandon good luck on your run all right joe lombardo all right so i can tell that he's anti-squad that's he thought that was so important to be talking about other people that he put it at the top of the site i'm not too into that talk about yourself let's hear about you not who you dislike all right here again look he he likes talking about other people's issues problems he likes trash talking to other people so much he'll put it up at the very top of his site i'm going to dock him significant points for that all right at least he's trying to get your email follow on social media how can i click through to these i guess so it's kind of a weird thing like why not show me the links of your social media sites rather than just some kind of twitter feed that you haven't even said is twitter there's a donate button kind of hard to see the color choice is not too good down here and it's really boring all this kind of off red burgundy all right at least he's got an issues page Let's see what happens here second amendment all right he's the only candidate in the race who's carried a gun every day for the past three decades all right so he's very clear on um that issue we'll say all right here's some social media links up here let's check out his donate page he puts you in straight for $50. I kind of like that. I think that's going to load up $50 right away. Uh-oh. Complete my donation. Okay, that was like a um, what I started to move away, and it detected I was moving away. It gave me a pop-up. I guess that's kind of all right. A little annoying. Yeah, so we can see right here he's got it set up for a $50 donation right away. And you can send in checks. All right, we can see what he's powered by WinRed. Okay, so they must be a company that gives donations, or not gives, they probably charge Republicans for donation systems. And let's go ahead. And, eh, we're now on the WinRed site. Did we? Oh, so that was a mistake of his right there. Here's a mistake. Look at this. Donate. I just left his site. As I said before, I don't want to go to anyone else's site, and I never, ever think that, you should send someone you on your own website you never want someone else's website to overpower your website meaning take over your position in the browser that's what happened if i do need to go to secure.winred.com it should be sending me to another browser it should open up an external window another window so that his site stays there now I'm, i've left his site forever goodbye all right steve okay so this looks like a well-made site kind of strange on the colors but at least it's got a picture of him. There's priorities right there. Let's just click through to one of these. 
All right, so he's clear on the issues. I like that. News. I think that's probably just a compilation of him in the news, hopefully well chosen to be good articles about him. Now, maybe that's his blog. Probably that's his blog, his news. All right, media. Watch our videos. So that doesn't mean if you're from the media, then here's our press releases or contact us. That means watch our videos. Photo gallery, kind of bad. Just show me the video. Show me the photo gallery. Don't make me click through it again. Endorsements, vote. Maybe this is info on how you can vote. All right, I like that. That's not something I see on a lot of sites. All right, I, I do like that. You don't know how to vote? Well, here's all the different ways that you can vote. I like that. And good social media up here. A volunteer page. Let's check that out. So that opened up a different site, Action Dot. So it's like a subdomain sign up. Why did you need a whole different site, a subdomain created just to get my info like that? That should have just been, I mean, volunteer. It didn't even say the word volunteer on that page. I don't like that. Donate. And let's see, again, Act Blue. It. This one opened up in a different window, so that's good. All right, I'd be curious to know how much money Act Blue is charging these people as opposed, because who knows how much they're raising. And it could end up being a lot of money rather than just having someone like me build a donation page in WordPress that's very inexpensive that you'll never pay recurring fees for. You just own the, own the $50 plugin. You paid your $50 for the Launch Flows plugin, and boom, you can have a donation page of your own. Let's go check out, check out actblue.com. Flexible and free fundraising tools. Okay, that's cool. Free. I don't know exactly what that means. How free is it? Let's find out. Get set up. Let's find out if there's like, there's pricing. Okay, down at the bottom. Simple pricing. Five minute setup. 3.59% transaction fee on each contribution. All right, I like that. Do I trust that? I never trust it when donation companies tell me what their fees are because, yeah, that's their fee. Hopefully that's total, but there's also usually like at the bottom, that does not include the credit card processing fees, which would be another 2.9% or so. Usually that's down with like a little asterisk or something. All right, so anyway, I won't go into that. We're not assessing donation processors, but that ends our uh, race for the governor of Nevada. We are back. It is the Nevada Lieutenant Governor race 2022. Anthony Stavros, we're reviewing political campaign websites. I am Zero to Webmaster founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger. Let's check out these websites. We're going to learn a lot about how to make a good or a bad political campaign website. You can guess which one's gonna win more votes. Here we go, Can we? does he have a website? Can we find him easily? Here it is. All right, it's at the top, that's good. I'd love for it to say what he's running for. Where's he running and what's he running for? Okay, at least one of the two plus his name should be there, but it's not. Also, we can tell he did not optimize his SEO description either or his web developer did not do it because this, you know, no one needs your address and phone number right here. They want to know something about you and why your website exists. Let's click through. Meanwhile, check out Lieutenant Governor Lisa Cano Burkhead. This looks like her current page. So I'm assuming she is currently in that position. Let's see if she has a, a uh, election campaign website. Here it is, Lisa Cano Burkhead for Nevada Lieutenant Governor. Listen, the three things I just mentioned, they're all here. Her name her location, the position she's running for. All right, this right here is not optimized SEO description. And I'd be interested again, let's do another test because I'm in DuckDuckGo, privacy focused. Let's see what actually happens when I go to Google, if it does appear the same or not. All right, here she is in Google. All right, there it is. So it is interesting that in Google, these things show up differently. So maybe I 
Um, should not maybe that's a duck duck go issue I'm not sure let's see again the difference in that right here it's ugly but Google has it right so that could be a duck duck go thing and maybe I should be using Google I'm gonna do that after this round I'm gonna start using Google that's what most people are using so let's just go ahead and use Google less privacy focused but hey it's Google all right Okay, so I like this. It says something about her. Oh, she's a mother. She must be a good person. Okay. And she's a voice for, you know, students, teachers, and parents. Okay. She's not talking trash right there. That's good. Let's go ahead and click through and move on to John Trey D. Lapp, Nevada Lieutenant Governor. And does he show up? D. Lapp for Nevada. I don't like that. I want your full name. Nevada's there. I want the position you're running for, but at least you have a website. Let's move on. William Hoge, Hoge, Hoagie. And I don't see your website. Ooh, I see one of your opposition's websites. I don't see your website. You are automatically losing my vote. You didn't care enough to make a website or you weren't smart enough to get it listed in the search results. And here we go with uh, Javi Tachikin. All right, Javi, do you have a website? I'm not finding it, and that's a problem. So, you know, Ballotpedia, that's someone else's website. Nevada Appeal, that's someone else's website. So you've automatically lost my vote. So let's go to these existing websites. This one, Anthony Stavros, you got a pop-up right there. I don't need a pop-up right there. I'm probably not, it's rare that I would ever go to a website for the first time and just start watching a video immediately that pops up in my face. I don't want to pop up. All right, so yeah, it's an all right picture, a bit close, but it's a headshot smiling. The conservative we trust, we can see his uh, likely you know, side of things. And join the team, they all say that. They ought to just say, you know, sign up for our newsletter, something like that. Get to know Stavros. All right, learn more. Maybe that's the same. That's the about page. Endorsements are there. All right. I really, I mean, endorsements, maybe they, maybe other people care more about them than I do. I, I don't because I'm usually not even going to know what the, uh, who the endorsers are or why they've endorsed you. So I don't need that up front. I want your issues though. All right, retired police captain. Look, that's all he's got. You want to be, you know, Stavros for lieutenant governor and you you only took, what, I could have written this up in four minutes. I don't know what your issues are, so you're not going to get my vote. and Unless the other people are really bad. Okay. And I'll say I, I can't remember who I voted for, but you wouldn't get my vote easily with an issue page like that. Your endorsements page, like, you clearly put some time into that. That's good. All right, let's see what happens when we go to volunteering. All right, it would be good to know, okay, you got four choices of what you can do when you volunteer. Let's see what's on the media page. All right, there's a bunch of, uh, you know, I'd rather like, what are these things? Just put them where they belong. Don't call them media. You know, if it's about an issue, put it on an issues page. If it's, you know, you at an event, maybe, I don't know. I, I, don't, the, I don't like the word media. No one's going to be... No one cares enough to click on a thing called media unless they're reviewing your site like I am. Contact page. Eh, a little, you know, you could have done something cooler with this page for certain. How about can I contact you on social media? That's stuff small down there. At least it exists. And let's check out your donation system. All right. So WinRed, that must be the uh, go-to company that Republicans use. Let's check out Built With. Ooh, name could not be resolved. Okay, because we're not on his site anymore. We went to an external site. Let's go back to his site. Fastly. Contact form 7. That sounds like WordPress. There it is, WordPress. All right, I'll give you some points for that. You got a WordPress site. All right, Lisa Cano Burkhead. All right, face shot at the top. That's cool. Were you a teacher? Okay, you're in a school like math uh, quadratic formula right there okay I usually see eh, let's just move on down the logo is not very well set up right here her name is cut off 
and we got some videos take part in something great donate or subscribe follow on social media enter your email i'd like something about who you are right here on the home page why not put something but at least you have an about page and looks like a thriving career your background what you've done before what you've done in the community or why you care about the community All right issues education jobs small business mental health environment oh you understand that there is an environment that's cool okay and all right so nothing amazing but it's all right the website act blue popped me out to a different window see what happens on subscribe all right Trey D lap nothing changes if nothing changes all right that's an interesting thing to say get me thinking when I'm on the site he's got a logo yeah, relatively modern I guess has a bit of a different look doesn't have the red and blue look maybe he's an independent and some endorsements I don't know who these people are okay it says fine maybe if you're in the community a bit more than you would know and so donation I like I'd rather just say donate like give me the action form of the word my story okay what's your story right, he's been there for 30 years gambling addiction I remember seeing this and I don't need to hear about that not on this page Okay, it's cool if you've gotten over it. I hope you've gotten it, gotten over it, but I don't think that needs to be here if you're running for lieutenant governor. See what happens on donations. Support our campaign, send in a check. So he doesn't there's no way for me to pull out a credit card and donate. And that's not not good. All right, events election day so there's an event oh well that's the event not his event free breakfast meet and greet okay all right this page i don't know about this page this is a little old school looking at least as the or i don't know what it is but it's not very political we'll say with you got cookies here all right moving onwards oh he's got a store welcome to the store cool bean store metaverse mugs nevada tote bags i don't know what's going on this looks like it was his old website and then he changed it to his political website that's a bit weird blog all right well at least i can envision myself doing that that's kind of a cool graphic i would have put that right on the home page that's the best graphic that's been on the site all right more stuff going on really their blog has enough going on on it that i probably would have just I mean, it's better than the other pages. All right, there's social media, their actual social media links. So that's good. Let's see what this is built on, built with. All right, type kit. All right, he uses Adobe. Squarespace. Okay. All right, there you go. And that concludes the run for lieutenant governor.